when it comes to today's class, okay, um, today let's learn about Pascal's triangle. This is a very important topic in mathematics. You know why? Because it's, it helps us a lot. Okay, let me tell you what we do with this. For example, you know that when you are told A plus B, all squared, okay? It is easy for you to expand it like this. A plus B into A plus B, all right? But what if you are told to expand A plus B raised to the power of 10? Will you continue to say A plus, A plus B into A plus B into A plus B like, till you reach that 10? No, now. Even if you do that, you are going to make a mistake, okay? All right. That is where this Pascal's triangle comes to play. We are going to use it to expand something like this, algebra that is high in number. So, when you are giving something like this, that is where you need... The Pascal's triangle. So I'm going to show you how to draw this within what a twinkle of an eye. All right, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to clean everything right now, and we are going to draw it by ourselves. Okay, to draw the Pascal triangle, you need the first one should be one. Okay, the first number you should write should be one. Then this you are going to write another one and another one beside it. Why? Because it's assumed that there is zero here and there is zero here. So zero plus one will give you this one. This zero plus this one will give you this one. Do you understand? All right, having done that, we are now going to continue. With this one plus this one is two. One plus one is two. Write it at the middle of this one and what? One. Then complete it with one, one. You will always complete each row. This is a row. You will always complete each row with what? One, one. So having done that, we are going to go into the next row. Into the next row, we are going to do again. One plus two, it will give you what? Three. Two plus one, it will give you what? Three. Okay, you complete it with one and one again. Not where I'm putting the three. I write this three under this place. And you know, I added one and two. So under this one and two, that is where I wrote it. In the middle of the one and two. In the middle of the two numbers that you added together. That is where you are going to write the sum that you got. Okay, for this one, I'm going to add one and three together to get four. So I'm going to write this four between one and three. Okay, so 3 plus 3 will give me 6. I'll write this 6 between 3 and 3. Do you understand? So 3 plus 1 will give me 4. I'll also write this 4 between 3 and 1. Now I'm true. I'm going to complete it with 1 and 1. Do you understand? Alright, so I continue. 1 plus 4 will give me 5. Okay, 4 plus 6 will give me 10. 6 plus 4 will give me 10. 4 plus 1 will give me 5. I'll complete it with one and one. I hope we are, you understood what, I'm di what I did or what I'm doing, okay? Now, let me recap. It says that when you add one and one here, you get these two, put it at the middle, okay? Middle of that one and one that you added together. Then you do one plus two. You are going to get what? Three. Okay, when you get one plus one, you got these two. Complete this row with one and one. After doing that, you now do one plus two, you are going to get this three. Write to whatever you got in between the two numbers you added together, okay? So 1 plus 2 gave me 3, 2 plus 1 gave me 3, and I completed the row with 1 and 1. Then coming to this row now, I have 1 plus 3 gave me 4, 3 plus 3 gave me 6, 3 plus 1 gave me 4, and I added 1 and 1 to complete it. Then coming to this one, 1 plus 4 gave me 5, 4 plus 6 gave me 10, 6 plus 4 gave me 10, 4 plus 1 gave me 5, I completed it 1, 1. So I will continue now. 1 plus 5 gave me what? 6. 5 plus 10 gave me what? 15. 10 plus 10 gave me 20. 10 plus, 15, plus 5 gave me 15. 5 plus 5 will give me what? 5 plus 1 will give me 6. I will now complete with 1, 1. And it goes on and on and on to that's like the rest of the power of 10 that I told you. You can expand this till you reach 10. Okay, that is where you will see like this is 2, this is 3, this is 4, this is 5, this is raised to the power of 6. You expand it, you reach to that raised to the power of 10. Okay, if, this, if you followed me to this level, it means that you actually enjoy what I'm doing. Please click on the subscription button and also click on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime that I upload new videos. In my next class or in the next time I'm going to 
come here we are going to discuss how to use this particular okay we are going to use this particular pascal triangle to solve what to solve some algebra all right so have a lovely day and bye